Hello everyone, this is Rahul from Ecom Sutra and in this video we are going to talk about granting users permission to your Shopify store. So let's say you want to hire a developer, a designer or a marketer to help you manage your store, right? Or let's say you have hired a team to help you manage your day-to-day -day operations of your store, okay? So how can you add those people with different access to your store, right? Because let's say let because because you don't want a developer to have access to your number of orders and financial statements, right? And similarly, you don't uh, want um, a staff member to have the access to you know to manage the manage other staff or just remove you from the store, right? So it's a very serious uh, serious options that you must focus on while giving someone access to your store, and that's what I'm going to show you that how exactly you can add members to your store. Okay, so first of all, go to settings from this down below, then go to users and permission, and then scroll down to staff section. Now, based on your Shopify plan, you will have the access to either add uh, two staff accounts or five staff accounts or 15. Okay, so 15 is for the advanced user. So I can, I can add up to 15 staff members to this store. Okay, now click the add staff to add the member. Now start with the adding the name first name last name enter the email okay now and then this is the most important section because you don't want someone to have insights or, or access to something they don't need or they, you don't want them to have the access to for example let's say you are hiring an account accountant to manage your finances right so you can simply just give them access to these financial options like uh, to view the billings and views of by payment or payouts so that they can manage the books for you right you don't want them to have access to edit, edit billing payment methods unless you know you want them to uh, have this access you don't also want them to have the manage uh, have the access to manage plans so manage app billings so it's completely on your uh, uh, you know your uh, understanding of that what role you want to give that accountant or that person uh, the access to okay so be very you know cautious about what you are giving them giving someone access to similarly if you are if you want someone to have the access to you know order management then you can just give them access to everything related to orders okay similarly uh, if you if you want someone to in, help you manage everything from your store then you can give select all and they will have the access to everything including the uh, apps and channels but you have to be very cautious that do you really want someone to have this access okay uh, and if you are giving some someone access then you can at least you know edit permit you can uh, exclude this option like edit permission add so that they will they won't be able to remove or add someone without your permission okay so this is something you can do uh, so once you select all this thing all these details just hit the send invite and the person the person will uh, receive invitation with, uh, to this, the email that you will enter here with the link and using that link they can register and get the access to your store next if you want to hire a developer or designer then they will be considered a collaborator and they won't be counted uh, in, in in your limit staff limit okay now if they are registered Shopify partners they will access they will have access to their Shopify partner dashboard and from there they can request an access to your store and for that they will just need uh, your store URL they will enter a URL and send the request and uh, you will get the request if with the essential permissions they will ask for you can check and you can edit the request as well that you don't want to give them access to okay but to control that you have this option like do you want anyone to send a collaborator request it's it's uh, it's it's probably not a good idea right so you can select this option like only people with a collaborator request so when someone will enter your shopify store url to request the request access then they will have to enter this code as well okay so when you will hire someone to help you with the store management then you must have to share this collaborator request code okay now let's say this request is leaked that's because i'm creating this video this request is leaked then you can generate new code as well like after generating new code the previous code will no longer be released. so basically the all the previous collaborator will have no access to your store okay so when you do this be cautious that if you are have already given access to other developers or marketers don't do this but if you see that you have lots of people have the access to this you can always change it and share this code again to those developers but this is uh, this is basically how you can manage the user permissions for your store 
and and i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video please leave a like behind and do subscribe to our channel for more such videos till then thank you and see you in the next video